Hi, this is Barton with the Snowflake Project. This video is going to demonstrate how I was how I set up the certificates and provisioning files in App ID in Apple by using Xcode. It's not clear from the Apple site what steps to follow, but this is what worked for me. So I want you to know. Now the first thing I did, because I'm going to run this on my device, is I hooked up my device and you can see I changed Xcode to point to that device and my device is running here I'm mirroring the device so you can see what I'm what I have what I because I'm going to build and then deploy to the phone I had to go to app delegate and put in my IP address so make sure you change that from local host to your IP address for this particular step now what I want to do is go over here to Apple and right now I don't have any any provisioning profiles okay I've already deleted them um, I have no IDs now this ID here I was playing around it got submitted to um, the app Apple App Store and now I can't delete it so um, don't understand that but anyway that's what's happening so I don't have any certificates um, no identifiers and no provisioning profiles and then if you start up your key chain um, you'll see that I have no certificates here with my name in it. That won't be the case when we get done running. So now in Xcode, um, you'll see under the general target, you'll see there's no code signing identity. Now you could push that button, I guess, but I haven't. I leave it alone. I make sure my name is selected in here, and let's just go ahead and build now, and you'll see what happens. So it immediately finds that there's a code signing. So I say fix it. Let, let, let the Xcode um, uh, tool take care of generating all these things so that the phone and the build all are happening at the right time and are, are all um, synced up. I was having a real difficult time figuring out what, you know, what, what was not matched with the other. So now everything's match, matching up because I start from square one. So there you go. Um, we built it it's on the phone now let's go back out to um, to um, Apple and you'll see now I have an Xcode iOS wildcard you'll see I have a certificate and you'll see I have a provisioning profile and now back over in the key access I have my developer certificate so that's the end of this video I know there's got to be better ways or maybe whatever but I've got a lot to learn with Apple. This is what I got working now, and so I wanted to share a way that you can start from ground zero and make sure that you got all the certificates and everything, the provisioning profiles, all built correctly, and that the app now is is ready. So in our next video, we'll look at what do we do with these things? Where do they go from here?